Myron, Wikipedia article audio. Myron of Eleuthery, working c. 480 BC, 440 BC, was an Athenian sculptor from the mid 5th century BC. He was born in Eleuthery on the borders of Boeotia and Attica. According to Pliny's Natural History, Ageladas of Argos was his teacher. Reputation Works Attributions And Sources Myron worked almost exclusively in bronze and his fame rested principally upon his representations of athletes, in which he made a revolution, according to commentators in antiquity, by introducing greater boldness of pose and a more perfect rhythm, subordinating the parts to the whole. Pliny's remark that Myron's works were numerosier than those of Polycletus and more diligent seemed to suggest that they were considered more harmonious in proportions and at the same time more convincing in realism, diligentia connoted attentive care to fine points, a quality that, in moderation, was characteristic of the best works of art, according to critics in antiquity. His most famous works according to Pliny's Natural History were a heifer, a dog, a Perseus, a satyr Marsyas admiring the flute and Minerva, a Hercules, which was taken to the shrine dedicated by Pompey the Great at the Circus Maximus, Discobolus, and an Apollo for Ephesus, which Antony the Triumvir took from the Ephesians, but the deified Augustus restored it again after being warned in a dream. The early imperial Roman writers consistently rated Myron among the greatest of Greek sculptors, a sign that his contemporaneous reputation had remained high. The heifer seems to have earned its fame mainly by serving as a peg on which to hang epigrams, which tell nothing about the pose of the animal. Chianese, a 7th century BC Olympic victor from Sparta, was commemorated in an idealized bronze by Myron. An epigram on Lotus, the fleetest runner of his time, notes that he was commemorated in a sculpture by Myron, of Myron's Lotus there is no known copy. A description by Lucian conclusively identifies as Myron's the Discobolus or Discus Thrower, of which several copies exist of which the best is in the Palazzo Massimi alla Term, Rome. Strabo also registers stray comments on Myron, especially a large group at Samos. Several surviving heads were identified as copies of Myron's Samian Athena by C.K. Jenkins in 1926. A marble figure in the Lateran Museum, which is now restored as a dancing satyr, is almost certainly a copy of a work of Myron, a Marsyas desirous of picking up the alas which Athena had thrown away. The full group is copied on coins of Athens, on a vase and in a relief which represent Marsyas as oscillating between curiosity and the fear of the displeasure of Athena. The ancient critics say of Myron that while he succeeded admirably in giving life and motion to his figures, he did not succeed in rendering the emotions of the mind. This agrees with the extant evidence, in a certain degree, though not perfectly. The bodies of his men are of far greater excellence than the heads. The face of the Marsyas is almost a mask, but from the attitude we gain a vivid impression of the passions which sway him. The face of the discus thrower is calm and unruffled, but all the muscles of his body are concentrated in an effort. A considerable number of other extant works were ascribed to the school or the influence of Myron by Adolf Fertwangler. These attributions have not stood up to the test of time. A papyrus from Oxyrhynchus gives dates of victors at Olympia of whom Myron made statues of the athlete Timaenths. Victorious at Olympia in 456 BC, and of Lysinus, victorious in 448 BC and 444 BC. 
This helps us to fix his date. He was a contemporary, but a somewhat older contemporary, of Theodias and Polycolatos. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. Myron. Encyclopedia Britannica. 19. Cambridge University Press. P. 114.